Don't you just hate it when you have like the perfect vlog topic earlier in the day and then you forget what that topic is? So we're getting some good questions in for the um, Mr. and Mrs. J. So far, I think I'm kind of liking uh, Q&A with Mr. and Mrs. J. But I mean, it's got a little ring to it. But then I kind of like the Shaytards podcast, how it's named like when the kids go to bed or when the kids go to sleep. Something like that. So I might come up with something like that. But we'll see. Uh, some good questions coming in, though. I think we've, uh, we're have we finalizing. We're picking our final like top three that we want to do for Saturday. And we're really excited that you guys are really enjoying that series. And I'm hoping that I can start to more professionally produce it once it starts to take off and get views. Because, um, I mean, granted, the, the vlog channel still doesn't get a whole lot of views per video. So... Um, I don't, I'm not want to like cheap out on the quality of the video, but I definitely, I'm, I'm not going to, between the tech channel and the vlog channel, I've got a lot on my plate, so I want to make sure I don't overdo it. Yeah. So, um, went to the gym today, and I injured my right shoulder again on Saturday during max out training. In fact, you might have even heard a little pop right there. I don't know if you did. It went, well, when I hit the mic, what do you expect, right? Um, damn it. So I've had a torn rotator cuff on this right arm, and if you've ever had a shoulder injury or a rotator cuff injury, you would know that um, it doesn't. It takes a long time to heal, and I keep healing it and then re-injuring it and healing it and re-injuring it. And I wouldn't. I don't know if I'd classify it as injured right now, but I think it's definitely strained. So today, we just did uh, our normal workout for upper body and without being max out training. And then low body, we did max out training today. And on the 45 pound, or 45 pound, 45 degree incline um, sitting leg press, um, I was able to do my body weight plus 345 pounds. So I was pretty happy about that. 345 plus whatever my body weight equates to at a 45 degree angle. Um, I'd say easily pushing close to 500 pounds with my legs. So that's not bad used to push that weight every single day it's amazing how much different 500 pounds feels now versus what it did then i was definitely a lot stronger in the legs then to be able to move that kind of weight around every single day but i sh certainly wasn't capable of doing a squat or anything like that now i can do squats all day long i can do squats and lunges and side lunges and it doesn't matter I, my core strength is so strong i love it <clears throat> but <clears throat> i'm really proud of miss j's two cents um if you're a female um, I know that a lot of people say, um, oh, it's easier for men to lose weight. Men have higher metabolism. So a lot of women get very discouraged when they hear about men's results and, um, they just don't get as excited and think to themselves, well, that could be me because they, they know that, you know, men are a bit fortunate when it comes to losing weight. Um, but you should follow Miss, Miss J's two cents. Um, I'll put her Twitter link down below if you haven't followed her already. Um, she's definitely an inspiration for weight loss for women. And I'm trying to get her to be more active on Twitter. She's just not very used to Twitter. Um, she's very new to it. and But she's lost 31 pounds total so far this year alone. And that's 31 pounds in five months. That's an awesome uh, rate of weight loss. It's not too fast. It's unhealthy, but it's not too slow to where you don't see results. And she's really, really excited. Like she's a, a size 27 waist, uh, a 20, I guess it's men's size. I guess technically some uh, women's pants are weird. Why are Why is it like size eight or size 27 or size six or size 25 or what, what is up with that? That's just madness. Whatever. She's uh yeah she's all the way down to a 27 uh, waist and she looks great and she's really excited for Vegas because we're going to Vegas not this weekend coming up end of this week but the weekend after and we're gonna do some uh, videos over there and she's gonna be in them now um, she's really excited about this um, video that we're doing together now on a weekly basis because she was always afraid to put herself out on YouTube because she thought people would make fun of her and say she's fat or say she's ugly or whatever. Um, because she herself is also really working hard to rebuild her confidence. And as you lose weight, you definitely do get more confidence back. But it's not to say that only skinny people are confident. I know plenty of, of heavy people who are very confident with themselves, and it shows. And I think confidence is a more attractive 
feature to a person uh, than their physical features. I mean, I know myself in the past, I've found um, some, you know, heavier girls to be much more attractive because of their confidence and the way they carry themselves and the way they conduct themselves versus somebody who may be, you know, trim and sexy and, you know, all they have is their physical appearance to count on. And when you talk to them, they're just like, their, their personality is just way ugly. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to get on out of here. I'm tired. I've got a headache. Might do a little live streaming tonight on the Twitch channel. I've also got a toothache. I don't know what that's all about. And my face is really squishy. Look at this. Look at this. My face, I look like a Cabbage Patch Kid. Do you guys remember those Cabbage Patch Kids? Look at this. It looks like a fake... This looks like a fake face, huh? This is really random. I should probably end this, end this video somewhere right around now. Like right now. This is, okay, this is weird.